In today's video, I'm going to show you guys another mass bidding technique that I have found in the game. And it's sort of like a lesson of what you guys should do in the future. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so once again, we have found another mass bidding method. Now, the lesson that I'm telling you guys is... Every time there's super packs, because I imagine there'll be super packs like another two times in this game. Take advantage. You can take advantage of these super packs. As garbage as they are, you can take advantage of these super packs. And this video is going to show you guys exactly how. So, what we're going to be doing is... I have found a mass bidding method using flash cards. I'm going to quickly show you guys the auction house results, and as you can see, a load of cards are being sold. Obviously, there's some <laughs> there's some of the uh, Pelicans players in there as well, but li literally, I've bought loads of these players. I'm going to show you guys some of the auction house bids that I've won on these cards there. I've had cards where it's a 300 auction house refund. I've had cards where it's a 400 auction house refund. So it's just more and more empty to be made here. So if you guys are excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on the, on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, of course, hit that subscribe button for more empty making methods. And of course, click that bell. Because then you get a nice little ding of when the next video comes up. Guys, comment down below how much cards you have in your collection. Because I'm kind of curious to see how close you guys are to Jason Tatum. If, of course, you are going for Jason Tatum. So in terms of just first auction house results, as you can see, this is the first auction house result. Not the greatest here. But, 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 but. Brad Scalabrini, 300 auction house refund. Gerald Green, 200 auction house refund. I'm gonna keep going down. 450 auction house refund. Robert Pack, 150. Daryl Dawkins is a 50. Kevin Porter Jr., 400 auction house refund. Now I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do. Boom! I actually aimed the right way. All right, so all of them are every single Flash player in the game uh, that is a Ruby card. The prices will be outdated by the time you're watching this video, so obviously, don't look at those prices. These are just prices that are active for now. So these are the prices I go by and it's very, it makes it very easy to filter through to find these players. So what you're going to be doing is I know I can sell every single one of those players for that price, maybe a little bit more. So what you're going to be doing is I filter it to Ruby. You go to Flash 1. I like Flash just because it's really easy to find. So I know there's already a Brian Scalabrini on that list. So what you can do then is you get up a calculator. That's the wrong tab. All right, you punch 1450 or whatever your current Brian Scalabrini's are going for. 1450 times 0 0.9, and the number that pops up is what you can sell a card for. So it might what you sell, what you get once you sell the card. So if you sell a card for 1450, you get 1305 back via tax. So what you're going to be doing then is you will just mass bid on every single card. In my case, it's going to be about 1250. I can, I normally do 1200 just in case the price dips a little bit. I normally make it so like I can make 100 MT at least. But again, it's sort of like a personal preference based on that. Now the thing I am liking with this method a lot is. You get so many cards to bid on, it's unbelievable. So obviously, we're on the 20 minute mark already, so you know, bit of a bummer, but what you can do then is you just go to Flash 2. You reset your prices, so Daryl Dawkins at Robert Pack. So I normally start at about maybe like 950, so if you sell a Robert Pack card for 1050, if I just punch that in and do 0 0.9, times you get 945, so now I'm gonna be bidding 900 on these cards. So uh, in total, like Daryl Dawkins, we're just gonna be bidding 900. And again, I'll bid on like a few of these. And then what I'll do then is I will then work out the price of a Robert Pack and then we'll just work up uh, obviously on bidding on those. So we're up to the 17th minute. Then we'll go to Robert Pack. You do 1350 times 0 0.9. You get 1215 MT once you sell a card. So I know I can bid up. Basically, I can win a card for about 1,000, eh, maybe 1,100, maybe 1,150, depending on how it's going. So let's we'll go on to this one, 1,150. And we'll just keep on bidding on these, etc, etc. And that's basically the method, guys. It's a really, really easy method to find. It's a really easy and effective method. So next one's Kyle Cover and um, Nick Anderson. Surprisingly, these are the most uh, the, one of the cheaper cards, because just because they're three-point specialists. But again, badges-wise, not really it anymore. So off the top of my head, Kyle Cover, once you sell a card for 1200 you get 1080 back. Once you sell a card for 1100 you get 990 so Off the top of my head, you want I'm going to be bidding a... About 900 or 950 for the Nick Anderson. So we just go to Nick Anderson, we go to 950. Uh, Carl Corvas, what was it? I said I was going to bid uh, 1050. Again, when you're making most of your MT back is through auction house refunds. That's where I make most of my MT. Just in general on the auction house, I make a lot of my MT through auction house refunds. Obviously, you can't guarantee an auction house refund, but you can guarantee you will make some profit anyway. So obviously, 40 MT is not a lot of MT. But because you're bidding on a lot of cards, that's a lot of MT that stacks on top of each other. So the next one, Gerald Green and Manute Ball, at 1,000 MT each. I know I'm going to be bidding 850 for these, just because I can make at least 50 MT on each of the cards. So 850, not really going to bid on that one. 
850 again for Gerald Green, 850 again for Manute, and you just keep going and going and going until you've done every single one of these flash sets. You can do this for like other other sets as well. Like idols you can do this for if there's like another idol super pack, if they release more idols Friday, which I'm guessing they might, I'm not 100 percent sure yet. But once we once we've done these, we've got a flash five. At the flash five, there's only one flash card that is Ruby. And it's dot, so I know I can bid uh, nine fifty on each of these, just because I know I can sell them for one thousand one hundred. If I if it's a case of I get outbidded on all of them, what I'll do then is I'll quickly just go check the price, because majority of the time, if you keep getting outbidded on on a card, it's because the price has shifted up a little bit. Of course, there is a risk of you of the cards being undercut, but because they're rubies and because you're bidding quite you know a little amount of MT, the odds of you actually losing MT. They obviously they are there because like with everything like the market could just crash as soon as you buy a card and then you lose MT Like there is a little bit of risk there, but there's a risk everywhere in trading Everywhere you make it trying to make MT there is a little bit of risk there just because you never know what the auction house could do So if we're on the Byron Russell, I can pick him up for I can sell him for a thousand uh, So I'm looking to pick him up for about 850 and again guys, there's just there's risk everywhere in the my team auction house But if you're smart with it, you can minimize that risk and obviously bidding at rubies bidding this cheap on rubies is really effective So flash seven now this one's quite interesting. So in terms of like uh, Hernan Gomez 1250 I normally tend to bid around at the 1050 mark. That's the about the average I bid for one of these cards now, in terms of Kevin Paul jr. This is a card I actually check the price of every single time I bid on this card just because Obviously what I say like obviously bidding on a lot of cards when it when it, if you're bidding on a lot of cards And it's a thousand MT. It's not really that big of a deal When you're bidding on a lot of cards and the cards are over 2,000 then there's potential to lose some MT But there's also a potential to make really good MT with this set So what you can do if you just filter it to shooting guard and then 2700 as you can see 2700 the price is still accurate So I think off the top of my head when you get a card for 2700 is that still there? Oh my god, man. That was up for a while. Like, god damn. I think that card was glitched, but... 2,700, you get 2,430 after tax. So you could look to bid at about 2,350. But just because I'm spending this much on a card, I do like to somewhat make sure I'm getting a bit more bang for my buck. Just in case this card does shift in price a little bit. But I know almost pretty much every single time I can sell this card for at least 2,700. So I'm just going to bid... Let's bid 2350. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We'll just bid 2350 on all of these and we'll just keep bidding and bidding and bidding. And by the time you've actually gone through this entire set of Flash players, again, you can do this with Idols players, you can do this with the Flash Glitch players, you can do this with cards that have a lot of sets in them, especially once they drop the Super Packs, you can really take advantage of it. Like, say they've been out for four hours, you make a list, you take advantage, you bid on all the cards, you sell all the cards, you make a nice bit of profit. Now, what you do once you've done them all, as you can see, I've been on 45 cards. So you already know that I'm going to have some cards ready and waiting to be listed up. So that's just going to increase the, obviously, get more time out of you. Just so, obviously, you can list the cards up. The more you list these cards up, the more, obviously, cards you will then have to list up. Because you're obviously using time to list up these cards. So Byron Russell, obviously, on the list, you can see it is a thousand. Right. So I was literally just about to start editing the video. And I was going through the players just to quickly list them up. And I want to come Porter Jr. with a thousand auction house refund. So I got this card for like a thousand two hundred MT, and I can sell it for a thousand for two thousand seven hundred. Not too bad. So we're just gonna quickly double check, just so I'm not undercutting anyone, just so obviously I'm not losing out on potential profit. So he is in the flash six set. Let's just make sure his cheapest buy now. So as you can see, thousand and fifty, but he's been up for two hours. Obviously, that's up to you. I'm probably going to list it for 1,050 because after this video, after I've listed everything, I'm going to go off my console for a little bit. So I'll list them up for 1,050, maybe 1,050 overnight, maybe even 1,100 for 12 hours. That is sort of up to you what you want to do. If you want just obviously quick profit turnover, you can list them for 1,000. But in this case, I'm going to list them for 1,050 just because I'm not going to be here after this video. Like, I'm going to I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to go away. But obviously, you guys don't care about that. So, in terms of Dot, let's go have a look at Dot. So, he's in the Flash 5 set. It's really easy to go find him. Ruby, and then we go to Flash 5. Why I didn't just search his name is beyond me. But <laughs> let's just go to 1,150. So, as you can see, there's a few for 1,150 here. And he's been, it's been up for 5 minutes. So, you can realistically list it for 1,150. We'll keep going. 1,200. Again, you could list it for 1200. There's not that many cards here. I'm actually going to list this one up for 1200 again because I'm not going to be here. Always take into a, always keep in mind if you're going to be still at your console. If you're going to still be at your console, you can just do it for four hours. 
Or if there's like a high volume of cards, you're not that much demand for the card, you might want to list it for 12 hours. But I, before I started this video, I had like 30 cards ready. And then I came, I went away, came back, and we were down to like 20. So yeah, these cards are very much still wanted. And you can do this as well with the Amethyst cards. Obviously, Flash cards, there are, am there are Flash Amethyst cards. Obviously, I'm just working off of Rubies. You can do the Flash cards as well, like this Tom card. He's a, he's annoying to sell. So it's just because there is so many of them on the market. You can use you can use amethyst uh, flashcards as well. And I'm not just talking about flashcards. Again, take note. Do this once the new super packs come out. You will take note. You now know of this video's existence. You know that you can go bid on a lot of cards once the super packs drop up. Because as scummy as super packs are. People do buy them. So, where's this Gerald Green? I cannot find it. So, a thousand. Again, Gerald Green is a card that people do want just because he's a really fun card. He can dunk, he can he can slash, he can shoot. He can do a lot in the game. So, his price can shift ever so slightly. So, as you can see, a thousand one hundred. He's been up for an hour. I'm just going to list him for a thousand and fifty because I'm already making quite a decent amount of MT just off of this card. And again, guys, it's a very, very easy method. As you can see, I, I'm probably going to have about seven cards to deal with in an hour. So, yeah, it's a very, very effective method. Again, take note of this video. Bookmark it if you even have to. Come back to this video once, obviously, the new Super Packs have come out. Maybe it's like, I generally don't know what Super Packs they could release next. But yeah, you know you know more Super Packs coming. And that's when you take note. That's when you get ready to put your bids on on all the sets. Just because you know you can make a lot of MT now. But boys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you if you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new on the with of course the bell is turned on. I shall see you guys all later. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys all later. Take care. Peace.